An electronic portfolio, or e-portfolio, has many educational applications. In addition to an assessment tool, it is useful for students to showcase and reflect on their work. The D2L ePortfolio tool is convenient because not only does it allow students to collect and categorize their work, but it is also embedded in the course management system that they already use and are familiar with. This presentation shows how to access the ePortfolio tool in D2L, provides an overview of the different areas of the ePortfolio tool, and it shows how to share the presentation. First, to access the ePortfolio tool in D2L, you must log in to D2L. Once you log in, if you're using ePortfolios in one of your classes, you'll notice that you have separate roles for that class, and roles are listed on separate tabs. Click on the tab for EP Student and access the portfolio course. Once you're in the class, you'll see an ePortfolio link on the top navigation menu. Click on ePortfolio to access your ePortfolio tool area. The ePortfolio is arranged into artifacts, collections, presentations, and reflections. Artifacts are individual items. For example, an artifact can be a paper you have written. Add artifacts by simply browsing for and uploading them. The artifacts area allows you to add reflections about the artifacts. The collections area allows you to categorize and organize artifacts into groups. Presentations are the final product that you can share and display for others. A presentation consists of selected artifacts and reflections in a visually appealing format. The following clip briefly demonstrates the visual elements of the presentations area. Reflections are personal comments. They can be independent from the associated items, or they can be associated with presentations, collections, or individual artifacts. Any area of the ePortfolio, artifacts, collections, and presentations, can be shared in order to enable sharing of ePortfolio items within your course or institution, you must first create at least one permission profile. Presentations can be shared with external audiences by creating a public link to the presentation. 
To share a presentation with an external audience, go to Presentations, click the key or permissions icon to the right of the presentation, click the external users tab, and click the box next to allow presentation to be viewed publicly without a username and password. And this is what a complete presentation portfolio looks like. This concludes the screencast demonstration about using portfolio.